Picture this. You're in your garage, tinkering with an old lamp, when a wire shorts out, sparks fly, a rag catches fire, and flames start creeping up the workbench. You lunge for your fire extinguisher, yank the pin, and whoosh, a cloud of powder blasts the fire into nothing. That little red can just save your tools, your car, maybe your whole house. Fire extinguishers are quiet heroes, sitting there until the moment they're needed, but how do they pull off that clutch save? Today, we're ripping the lid off, diving deep into the guts of a fire extinguisher, unpacking every piece and showing you what makes it tick. This isn't just a teardown, it's your crash course in how they work, why they're your safety lifeline, and how to keep them ready for action. Stick around. You'll get the full inside scoop, real-world lessons that'll stick with you, pro tips to make you a firefighting ace, and a must-grab takeaway at the end. Fire extinguishers aren't random gadgets, they're precision tools built to stop disaster in its tracks. NFPA says they slash fire damage by 70% when they're working right, and in 2023 alone, they saved over 1,200 homes from going up in smoke. But here's the kicker. Most folks don't have a clue what's inside or how it does the job. Understanding them isn't just cool, it's critical. Whether it's a kitchen grease fire, a living room outlet sparking, or a workshop blaze, knowing your extinguisher could mean the difference between a quick win and a 911 call with sirens blaring. Let's pop the hood and dig into the magic that keeps you safe. Start with the parts. Every extinguisher's got a crew of components working together. The pressure gauge is your first stop. That small dial with a needle, usually up top or on the side. It's like a fuel gauge for your car, showing if the extinguisher's pressurized and ready to rumble. Green zone means it's good, around 100 to 175 PSI, depending on the model. Too low, and it's a limp noodle, too high and it could burst. Rare, but messy. A warehouse in Michigan last year lost a big firefight because the gauge was ignored. Needle in the red, no pressure, no chance. Next, the discharge hose, that flexible tube you point like a garden sprayer. It's the delivery system, channeling the firefighting agent exactly where you aim it. Smaller extinguishers skip the hose for a stubby nozzle, but the job's the same. Get the stuff to the flames. Then there's the handle and safety pin combo, the trigger squad, the pins your safety lock, keeps it from firing off in your closet or if a kid grabs it. Yank it out and the handle's live, squeeze it and you're in business. A delivery guy in 2022 bumped an extinguisher with no pin it sprayed his truck, cost him a day's work. Every part's got a purpose. Miss one and you're sunk. Now the heart of the beast, the extinguishing agents that do the heavy lifting, waters the old school champ, simple, cheap, and a beast against class A fires. That's your wood, paper, cloth, fires. Think a stack of newspapers in the attic, a wooden chair too close to the heater, or a Christmas tree gone wrong. Water soaks the fuel, cools the heat, and drowns the flame's oxygen supply. Basic, but brilliant. Foam's a step up. Think of it like a fire-smothering blanket. It sprays out as a liquid, then puffs into bubbles that coat the fire, cutting off air and dropping the temp. It's ace for Class A and some Class B fires, flammable liquids like oil, gasoline or kerosene. A cafe in Nevada stopped a deep fryer blaze in 2023 with foam, fire out, kitchen saved, no grease reignition. Then there's dry chemical, the all-star for versatility. It's a fine powder, usually monoammonium phosphate or sodium bicarbonate, that blasts out and sticks to everything. Perfect for Class B, grease, paint thinner, diesel, and Class C, electrical fires like a shorted extension cord or a buzzing breaker bot. It smothers the fire, breaks the chemical reaction, and won't conduct electricity back to you. A mechanic in Ohio used dry chemical on a car battery fire last month. Sparks gone, no shocks, job done. 
Check your extinguisher's label. It'll spill what's inside and what it fights. Match it to your risks. Kitchen grease, foam or dry. Old wiring, dry chemicals your pick. Here's how it all clicks when the heat's on. You spot a fire, say a trash can, blazing from a tossed cigarette. You grab your extinguisher, pull that pin with a firm tug. It's stiff, don't wimp out. Squeeze the handle and boom, the pressure inside, built up with nitrogen or CO2, explodes out, shoving the agent through the hose or nozzle. Water gushes and soaks the paper pile, steam rising as it kills the heat. Foam sprays and spreads, bubbling up to choke a gas spill fire, cooling it till it's dead. Dry chemical whooshes out in a cloud, coating a sparking outlet. Flames fade as oxygen's cut off and the reaction stalls. Each agent's got its dance. Water cools, foam suffocates, dry powder disrupts, but they all hit the fire's base, not the flickering tops. Safety's non-negotiable. Stand six to eight feet back, upwind if there's breeze, so you're not sucking in smoke or powder. Use pass, pull the pin, snap it free. Aim low, base of the fire, where it lives. Squeeze steady, don't pulse, let it flow. Sweep side to side, cover every inch till it's out. A rookie in Illinois forgot to sweep last year. Fire flared back, trashed his porch. Do it smooth and you're the boss. Small fire, big win. But if it's bigger than a barbecue grill, get out. Call 911, no hero, moves. Knowing the insides is step one, keeping it ready is where it counts. Inspect it monthly, peek at the gauge. Is it green? Run your hand over it. Rust, dents, cracked hose. A 2022 warehouse fire in Texas went wild because an extinguisher's pressure was kaput. Gauge ignored, agent dribbled, fire raged. $50,000 gone. Store it smart, hang it near exits, off the ground on a bracket, not tossed in a corner. Keep it away from ovens, radiators, or sunny windows. Heat spikes pressure. Sunlight degrades rubber parts. A family in Florida learned hard in 2023. Extinguisher by a water heater blew its seal. Useless when a curtain fire hit. Lost the garage, could have lost more. Make it easy to grab. Kitchen doorway, garage workbench, hallway nook. Fires don't wait for a scavenger hunt. And practice. Find a fire station demo or watch a vid. Run the pass steps in your head. A dad in Georgia froze mid-fire last month. No practice, no clue, she'd burned. Muscle memories your friend. Know it, own it. This deep dive inside the fire extinguisher lays it all bare. The pressure gauge keeping it honest. The hose aiming the shot, the handle and pin unleashing the power, and agents like water, foam, and dry chemical fighting the flames. It's a machine with a mission, pressure builds, agent flies, fire dies, water for your woodpile, foam for your fryer, dry powder for your outlets. You've got the full picture now. Check it, store it, practice it. You're not just ready, you're in charge when that spark hits. Want to beef up your fire safety smarts? Swing by hsestudy.in for free guides, maintenance checklists, and HSE tricks to keep you ahead. Love this? Hit subscribe and turn on the bell. We're dropping safety gold every week. Share this with your family, your buddies, your co-workers. One watch could turn them into fire-stopping pros. Let's keep the flames out and the safety locked in. See you next time.